BYU 27, Arizona State 17. I think that we have to have a conversation about an undefeated BYU team. Kalani Sataki is doing it up, man. Uh, by the way, so I, I went and researched because we've had a lot of people talking uh, some trash about us. They have got 41 players that are married, 14 players that were on the 2016 roster. They have 47 players that uh, that served two-year missions. I don't think I'm All wrong. Right. Hang on. So you and I are different here. Okay. We got criticism that we have the same old stick about them being old and they're not old. You care about being right. I don't care if we're right or not. I do care about being original. If it's a bad stick, if it's an old stick, I got to come up with something new. Okay. I don't disagree with so, that. So I don't irrelevant about the fact of being right, I don't care if I'm right. If the stick has gotten old, if I'm going to the well one too often for the same joke, that's it's on me. I got to well, be no, more creative. Here, here's the reason why I looked it up is because we were told that they have the same average age as every I, other college. I, 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 I understand. I understand. I understand. I'm okay with other people being wrong, but but the concept that I'm okay with because because we keep keep making the same jokes. I'm okay with that. I'm so, right with that. So BYU gets a massive win over Arizona State, and and I don't know that this was wholly unexpected because. You know, at BYU looked great against Utah last week. Arizona State has not looked good to this point in the season against the week competition that they've already played. Uh, Casey said, I had BYU money line, but I had them with Virginia money line uh, rigged. <laughs> of course, we're getting back into the rigged conversation. But, uh, but yes, Arizona State, like Jalen Daniels, or Jaden Daniels, excuse me, 21 out of 29, 265 yards, two picks. Uh, he, he did not do well, like 10 carries, eight yards. That... That BYU offensive line and defensive line are are something to be reckoned with, my friend. They are unbelievable. Jaron Hall, again, like amazing plays. Tyler Algier, I'm hoping that I'm saying that right, but the the interception return that he came back and Mortal Kombat drop kick, backward punch to knock the ball out was the most incredible thing that I have seen in forever because he ran down that kid, ran him down, and yeah. then jumped from behind him fast enough to be able to reach around and punch that ball out. This team is fun. They are ridiculously good. And and if you look at the schedule, they've already beaten Utah and Arizona State. Now they got UCF, Utah State, Boise State, Baylor, Washington State, or sorry, Virginia, Idaho State, Georgia Southern, and then at USC to close out. They could legitimately go 12-0 and this year. I'm. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I, I would like people to acknowledge the fact that before the season started and after week one and after week two, after week three, I said, now I picked against him in this game because I, I mean, I have a man crush with Jaden Daniels who just didn't, didn't play great in this game. He's still got one of the prettiest deep balls I've ever seen in my life. So when he's, when he's right, he's right. Said the hate on BYU had gone too far. Yes. That they had lost a transcendent player but it doesn't mean they still can't be really, really good. And they are still really, really good. Yes. Yes, they are. You you were right. You you were 100. When you started the season, you said, whoa. Like, this is still a well-coached well, team. This is I mean, still a there good were team. people that were picking this team to struggle to make a bowl game. They thought they would be around 6-6. Six and six. Uh, And that, I just thought, what one, in the hell are we talking about? I, I was one of them. Here. Because I thought what the are we schedule, talking about? Well, I thought... I, how does how do how do we get that? They lost one guy. Yeah, schedule's tough. Schedule's no, I, tough. Here's the here's the schedule's deal. Real tough. But so are so are they. I thought that Utah was going to be really really good. I thought Arizona State was going to be really because I thought both of those teams could win ten games this year. Virginia, I thought would be pretty good. Baylor, Washington, I thought State, one of them would be really good. Boise, and then you got USC at the end of the year. Like, but now none of them look scary at all, at all. So, let's nope. see. Brown Yeti said they have a strong schedule. They have a stronger schedule than Clemson. BYU should get in over Clemson if they go 12 and 0. If we're talking about the playoff, oh, not close. Well, Clemson's not going 12 and 0. Clemson's going to lose at least one more game. I don't know where, but they're losing at least yeah. one more game. But I, I think he was talking they might about not BYU. Make it to the ACC if, if BYU goes 12 and 0, oh. right? Okay. Yeah, but they should get in over Clemson. That's pending. They're both apples to apples. They're not going to be apples to apples. Clemson ain't making the playoffs this year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think yeah, you might be onto something. You might be onto something. So, so yes, I'm like BYU looked good in this game. had had a few mistakes, but they they took advantage. And you know, I I don't I don't even know what else to say. I don't think Arizona State's very good this year. I think I think Arizona State's got some problems. Like 
yeah, I know. I love this team, and I want them to be good. And and I just you you might be right on that. They might not be. So they also had some injury guys last night. I mean, Jalen was playing hurt. They didn't look healthy. That's not the reason they lost, by the way. So neither here nor there. It's just BYU's a tough football team. They're good. They're really oh, yes. good. I thought they'd have a letdown after after uh, Utah. They didn't. They played really well. Nope. No, no letdowns. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.